Adam Rayner for Slingshot World TV. And in the distance, there's a roebuck. It's going to come out on the Minch. We won't wait more clock. There's a fair old way away. We're going to have a little manoeuvre. The wind's in our face. You can see with me 17 times zoom that what a sharp-eyed man that guy is, because <laughs> that's amazing. I do love me zoom outs. But this is one of those blessed spots. anywhere in the UK you can get away from bloody aeroplanes though. Hello, this is Adam Rayner for Slingshot World TV. Whispering a bit out of breath, A, because I've been obviously unfit, and B, because I think that deer can hear me. Yes, we've come out for a mooch, tag along with Mark. We're in an absolutely lovely place. Spotted at a distance. Stalked in a bit closer. <laughs> what a blessed spot to come with a catapult. It's not always about killing things. <laughs> well, that'd be good too. Take a deer. <laughs> but what a gorgeous place. It's the season of mellow fruitfulness out here in the woods. The squirrels are harvesting the early hazelnuts and the pigeons are waxing fat on blackberries. And frankly, we're out here seeking them. Okay, well, inevitably we've had a little sit down and there's a leaf that I've put a little hole through, but you see that little purple flower? I'm going to zoom back here. I'm going to come round and find the geese with the catapult so you can see that that's, oh, it's about 12 feet. How far is that, do you reckon, Mark? Yeah, it's only about, about four yards. Not terribly far, is it? No. There's the man. It's not far. There's the catapult. It's itching to try and cut it. But the, uh, the flower is... Um, Got a stem that is, uh, I'm not zoomed in, I'm not zoomed in, I'm not zoomed in. Don't cut it down yet, I can't find my flower, where's my flower? There it is, yes, I'm looking at it. It's very skinny. Oh. We might get um, a rebound. <laughs> From the tree behind. Mm. Perfectly framed. Uh, what kind of, is that a campion? Not sure. Can you see the hole in that leaf to the left there that I made? Really badly off centre of it. You know, I've gone just to the right hand side of that every time. Haven't I? Just a tiny, teeny bit, it's that. Tiny, tiny bit. This is less than a ball width. Yeah, well. It's obviously not as easy as what I thought. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's about a. 
Oh, touched it. Yeah. touched it. I saw it, sh it shook. Mm. It shook. That is such a skinny target. Oh, shot. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that just goes to show that wasn't acting really cool and then walking away from the camera and being able to do 35 takes. <laughs> Look how far away that was. <laughs> Man, you are a freaking sniper. You really are. And I can hear your irritation at not getting it. I can hear your irritation. I was, I was getting People irritated. are going to freaking marvel and go, you see that? I thought, I thought it's just the width of the bloody pellet ball he's shooting. That was I an thought, eight mils. I thought it was a simple shot. What a laugh. Yeah, we gotta, uh, we got to try this. This is the berry shot. I've just seen Mark cut down something that was smaller than uh, the width of the ball. And now I found the berry. Do you think, man? Oh, it's moving up and down. <laughs> oh, I can tell I don't have the talent to make that sound like I'm saying it the first time each time. Shot. Mmm, oh, tasty. No, they're not wild. Yeah, no taste all right. And this is uh, why we're here. Hazelnuts on the trees. They're all uh, pretty small. And the squirrels have this magical knack of being able to tell which you've got nothing in and just biting them off and spitting them and dropping them on the deck. So you get these piles of debris. Hazelnutty debris. Yes. <laughs> 